Hey, it's Ryan Breezy, and welcome to our Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. This is my first time playing this game, and I am very looking forward to it. We're just going to be doing a standard Nuzlocke, because I've never played this before. But, in the event we lose it, I'm just going to continue playing, because I've never experienced this game before, and I want to enjoy it. Uh, if you don't know the rules of Nuzlocke's, you catch the first Pokemon you encounter on each route. This will not be a hardcore Nuzlocke, so... Alright. You also have to nickname every Pokemon that you capture. And if a Pokemon is fainted, you have to get rid of it. I probably won't be completely releasing them. I'll probably just stick them in the PC. Because if we fail, I'd like to have a team. Um, and I am imposing a level cap for myself. Just so I'm not completely over leveling my Pokemon. I've got a nice sticky note of what levels for each gym I can train up to. Currently for the first gym my cap is set at level 14 because that is the highest level Pokemon of the first gym leader Rourke. So that's what we'll be using. And I'm super excited to play this game. I already know who I'm picking as my starter, one of my favorite grass types, Old Turtwig, and I'm also playing on a controller, Xbox controller. So let's get started. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan, however... Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I am certainly capable of giving it. I think I'm fine. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you'd please. No, no, not that button. The button on the Pokeball. How do I control the bottom screen? I have to use my mouse. Oh, man. <laughs> we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? I'm gonna be using the boy. Alright, so you're a boy. I think so. <laughs> tell me, what is your name? We're gonna go with Brat, or Breezy. How do I lowercase? Let's... Go for it. I don't think I'm going to give my my rival a name other than like the default one. Okay, so you're Breezy. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Go with Barry. A default name. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name. Yep. Now, all the Pokemon professors are named after types of trees. Is Rowan a type of tree? It's not one that I know of, personally. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Whew! Time to start it. Here we go. It's been so long since I've played like Diamond and Pearl. I'm hoping playing this isn't gonna ruin the Diamond and Pearl remakes for me. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you will understand the meaning of these words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. 
Okay. Barry's already here. There you are! Hey, Breezy! Did, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'll give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey! Is this a new PC? Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, right! We're gonna go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon! I'll be waiting outside. Oh, Breezy, if you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke Dollars! Is this like, um... The original game where you get an item in here? Negative. Ah! Did not mean to talk to that thing on the wall. Breezy, Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. We need to hurry up and get our first Pokemon here. Start this Nuzlocke. Oh, Breezy, yes. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie. Yeah, that's gonna change soon, ma. I need running shoes. It's too slow for me. Hello? Oh. Hiya, Breezy. Barry was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Which one's his house? This one with the mailbox? Yes. Uh, what was that about? Oh, hey, Breezy. Hey, I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan. You should come too. And quickly. Why are you gonna find again? Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Nope. Not gonna be fine, 10 million Poke Dollars. Oh, hi, Breezy. Are you looking for Barry? He's gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. I'm having a hard time with his D-pad. I'd better take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey, Breezy. I'll be waiting for you on the road. It's a 10 million dollar fine if you're late. Guys got too much energy for me. Continue on our way. Hopefully we get running shoes pretty soon and we can be be fine. There he is. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? Don't go in the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter if we have po any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go in tall grass? So, what you do is, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gym Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it! Oh, it is Professor Rowan. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going in the tall grass? Hey Breezy, it's the old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? They tried to go in the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right of me to put them on that path? You too, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Oh yeah. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Why was he asking me again? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We're both the answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Breezy? Yes. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me that people like this would do... Would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh... 
Well then, forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to get him into the tall grass and all. Oh, how big of you. Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never leave recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm. Now. Where? At dawn? Professor Rowan! You left your briefcase at the lake! Oh, is something wrong here? Wait, no, she said that. Oh, there it is. Dawn, nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? These Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. This place, right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really, Professor Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Breezy, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I can have a sh- I have to show some class here. Alrighty, time to collect our star Pokemon. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose, which Pokemon will it be? The Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtwig. We have the Chimp Pokemon Chimchar. And our Penguin Pokemon Piplup. I'm going to be picking Turtwig. And that will add Turtwig to our layout. Woo! Then, I'm choosing you! I'm picking this Chimchar! Oh my goodness, here we go. Very well, both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. And as fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you do well together. If you have any trouble, please come see me at my lab in San Jim Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Professor, please wait for me. I'm sorry, please let me pass. How'd you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Breezy, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Time to battle? I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Breezy, I challenge you to a battle. Uh, I don't think I have a chance of losing this fight. Even though we got the type disadvantage. Yeah, we only have Tackle. I assume he only has Scratch. I don't think we have any Pokeballs to start the Nuzlocke anyway. What in the? That one hurt you. What's that mean? Let's give him the Scratch. That was okay amount of damage. Gonna keep on tackling. It's weird having one-on-one uh, -on -one battles now. The last two Pokemon games have all been double battles. With Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness. And this game actually has the physical and special split for every typing. Instead of just types being strictly physical or special. So now attacks like Shadow Ball will be special. Where Shadow Claw will be physical. And we need one more tackle here to wrap it up. His Chimchar is faster than us, so we gotta remember that in the future. But, that's gonna wrap up that battle. Did we get a level up here? 69 experience points, nice. We do level up, level 6.
Now, do we evolve before the level cap of 14 or not? We got 500 bucks. Woo, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon need rest too. See ya, Breezy. We get teleported back home to Ma. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Barry are lucky you met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. Breezy, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandgym Town, isn't it? I let you have your own Pokemon. The tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know. Breezy, put these on. Oh, thank God. We're getting them early. Going to San Sandgym Town is like an adventure in itself, right? But with those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press B and dash, yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that just nifty? Let's go thank him. Oh, that's just amazing. Okay, that's the key item. There we go. Let's check out our Turtwig. Um, Calm Nature? I'm not quite sure what that boosts. It might be a neutral nature. Got Overgrow, which is standard on all the starters. Um, Nothing too crazy. It's got good defense, good special attack. And Nose Tackle and Withdraw. It's a female Turtwig. I don't think we've got the chance to nickname him yet. Too slow, Breezy. I'm sick of waiting. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I have this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. That Pokemon battle? Wasn't that wickedly fun or what? I mean, I'd pick the moves and my Pokemon would use them. Yeah, I'm gonna battle tons and get real close with Pokemon. Oh, he's following me. We gotta make sure we don't have Pokeballs. Okay. Uzlock has not started yet. Hey Breezy, I said the lake's not that way. Oh. I thought we were going to go thank him. We're at Verity Lakefront. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It's even. It even says so on the sign. I didn't read the sign. What's going on? That's Cyrus. The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Yikes. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Don't remember him being at the start of the games before. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Breezy, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Excuse me? Did we just hear it? Did you hear that, Breezy? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, wait, what? We don't have anything on, on us. You know, Pokeballs. P O K. Accent e balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we need anything. Okay, Breezy, I'll race you. First one of the professor's lab is San Jim Town rules. Oh, I want a rule. We're beating him. We gotta remember what routes we go through here. 
Are these trainers? If you're Pokemon health and his HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Any items around here? Are you a trainer? Hi, I work at the Pokemon. Did you know that health is measured by hit points? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it can't battle anymore. You give me a potion. Woo! It will automatically go into your bag. Oh boy. Okay, we got our first potion. That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. Oh, it's dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our professor research lab. Let's go. Bud. What in the... Oh, it's you, Breezy. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he's totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Breezy. I'm out of here. See you later. Why is he off on a rush? Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Whew. A lot happening so far. But we still haven't started the old Nuzlocke, so... Well, 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 look who's here. Breezy, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. His Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Entrusting you with that Turtwig was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? So I like to nickname my Pokemon based off of the, the first letter of their last evolutions. So Torterra starts with T, just like Turtwig. So I need a female name that starts with T. Alright, so I found the name I like. It is... Oh. Okay, I have to use the... I thought I had to use the keyboard. It's Terra. But, it's spelled differently. It's T-E-R-R-A. Kind of like Terra Firma is like Earth. I, I think it's a smart name. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname. I am. I think it's pretty darn smart. When I first saw you, you two about to step in that tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded by these foolhardy children. But now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turtwig feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you two to cherish that Turtwig of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. <clears throat> Let's move to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. That is what I wish to ask of you. I wish to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Oh yeah, we're catching them all. Hmm, good answer. We got the Pokédex. That Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Breezy, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got one too! When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokémon, did you feel it? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Breezy, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for you, the f that I met for the first time, was a Piplup. If you would have chosen a Piplup on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm Dawn. 
I also help the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I've got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Breezy. I just want Pokéballs. Is there anything back here? No. Give me stuff. Professor Roan invented a new Pokédex while working alongside Professor from the Kanto region. My name is Roseanne. I'm Dawn's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest. Somebody give me Pokéballs. Breezy! I have something good here. You should take this as well. A TM already? That is a technical machine. That one contains the move Return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only. The move Return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon's with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Breezy, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Finally getting Pokeballs. Ah, oh, I thought you were going to teach me how to catch. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in the most in most towns. Then, a building with the blue roof over it is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Since you're a novice trainer, you won't have to be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Breezy. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokédex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Okay, before you go, heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. It'll be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I didn't battle anybody, though. I don't- I don't think I need to heal. Yeah. I'm gonna see if... I can learn how to catch Pokemon first. Yes. Breezy, did you tell your family that you're helping the professor? You didn't, did you? I know you're really eager to help see all kinds of Pokemon, but you shouldn't make your mom worry that you just can't. Ah! I guess we'll run back and tell our mom then. As we can't progress until we do that. Luckily, it's a quick trip. Go around the grass to make it even quicker. And we're already back in Twin Leaf. Talk to our ma. Welcome home, Breezy. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. See, we didn't have to heal at the center. What is this, Breezy? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Oh dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Breezy. I've got something that you will find useful. A journal? That's a journal that keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. What are you looking at? Plus, you're not alone. You've got your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. Yep, Breezy. I'll be alright by myself. You go and enjoy yourself. When you've, you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see what kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. It's Berry's Ma. Excuse me, is my little Berry here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, and then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Breezy will deliver that to him. Won't you, Breezy? I don't wanna... 
Oh, really? You do that for me? Please take this to Barry for me. Parcel. Bye bye, Breezy. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he'll probably stretch stre to Jupe Life City. Please take that to Barry. Man's on a mission. Now we're on a mission to go give this to Barry. Go. We gotta meet up with Dawn again. After this battle. It's a Starly. Go Terra! That's such a cool nickname. Because eventually it's gonna be Ground type. Oh, we eat that! I don't think we have Pokeballs yet. I should probably double check. Just to make sure we're not knocking at this Starly. Okay. This isn't our encounter yet, although I would like to have Starly as an encounter. And we critical hit it. I feel like Starly is one of the best early game Pokemon you can get. And like Diamond and Pearls. Did not mean to run left. We wouldn't have had this encounter. It's fat finger on this little D-pad. The Bidoof. Don't really want him. Although, we could use an HM slave early game, who knows? <laughs> He's also a water type. And the first gym is rock. Or he eventually becomes water type. I kind of like his sprite with his tilted head. Are we going to level up? Nice. We're up to seven. Didn't learn a grass type move though. I'm kind of concerned with our Pokemon until we get that grass type move. Let's learn how to catch Pokemon. Oh, well, that's right. Breezy, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? Who are you gonna catch? A Bidoof. Doo -doo -doo. Go Piplop. Alright, Dawn. Show us how to do it. She clicks pound. Are you gonna do it twice? I bet she just throws a Pokeball. Smart. If only she could do it faster. 20 Pokeballs, jeez. I don't think this can bust out, can it? That'd be embarrassing. Teach me how to catch Pokemon and it busts out. <laughs> wow, she caught Bidoof. Giant accomplishment for Dawn. <laughs> See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower the target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. That is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you put them to sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Breezy. To get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Okie doke, it's time to start adding some Pokemon to our team. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun knowing your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Get us out of this grass. There we go. That's going to wrap up episode number one. Episode two will be coming in an hour or so. I'll be doing a double upload. I think I'm going to double upload all week. So, if you want your fill of this Platinum Nuzlocke, it's going to be coming to you. The first 10 episodes, Monday through Friday, two episodes a day. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to heal up and time to start catching some Pokemon in the next episode. I'll see you guys there. See ya.